Hey guys, so today we're going to be making some vegan no-bake cookies that taste really good and taste like crack. So basically, pause the screen right now if you guys want to cook along with me and get the ingredients right there. So I'm just getting my stuff out right now, my measuring tools. You guys are going to need a half, half cup, whole cup, and a teaspoon or a tablespoon. So we're starting out with oats. We're only going to do three-fourths of a cup of oats, but the oats is a big thing because, of course, that makes the cookiness. And then we move on to syrup, maple syrup for me. Very low sugar syrup, though, so it's not as many calories. And then two tablespoons of peanut butter. I do recommend doing creamy. I only had crunchy, but creamy is the best to mix with. And time for the almond milk. And I eyeballed this, but this is about three-fourths of a cup of almond milk. And then time for the sugar, the main ingredient. <laughs> and honestly, just add as much as you want, really. That's probably not good to say, but oh well. Half a, ta half a teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of vanilla. One tablespoon of cocoa. Gives it that chocolate flavor. And remember to add more chocolate if you like it chocolate -er. Add more peanut butter if you guys like more peanut butter. And then now it's time to stir, whip it up. We gotta whip it, we gotta whip it, because <laughs> we're making crack. And then I added more sugar, because it wasn't sugar enough for me. I was going through a sugar, a sugar phase for a little bit, for a few days. <laughs> so put them in there, and that's the whole thing about no-bake cookies, is you don't cook them, but you let them get cold enough to where they actually bond together. Usually, you would wait until these are fully cooked. Well, not cooked, but fully or fr fully like frozen or thawed together, basically and then you have your cookies and everything but sometimes i'll just make it just to eat it like this especially if i want to if i want to eat it quicker but the funny thing is this actually tastes like crack i recently found out if you just add straight up sugar and stuff it tastes like crack and it's like it will get you hooked but it's amazing just remember this isn't that bad, don't use too much sugar, don't go overboard, but also make sure to be active. Make sure you're going to the gym one to two hours, five days a week, or doing some kind of exercise or cardio for at least an hour, five days a week. And you can eat like this a lot more than you think. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment about the quality of this video, if there's any way that I can improve, or any suggestions on a video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.